Welcome to this tutorial today where we are going to be talking about ribosomes, a very complex and amazing machine that we have within our cells. So let's just write down that we have a eukaryotic cell for demonstration purposes and a mitochondria. But don't let this fool you. You'll have ribosomes within your prokaryotic cells as well and there are also many varieties of ribosomes but in this tutorial we will just discuss the basic form and function. And before we start talking about the ribosomes I just want you to know that we have a uh, structure or area within our nucleus called the nucleoli and that is going to be where we synthesize the subunits of our ribosomes and we're not going to be talking about the nucleoli within this video so we'll just leave it at that and know your ribosomes are synthesized here. Now the actual ribosome itself is a non-membranous two subunit uh, protein complex. So non-membranous it doesn't have its own membrane and we don't classify it as an organelle within the cell. And I'm just drawing uh, lots and lots of ribosomes all over the cell here. So they're absolutely everywhere. Some of them just floating around wherever they want and some attached to membranes. So they're not organelles. And I'll draw some within the mitochondria here as well because I wanted to distinguish that as well. Because within our mitochondria we have a different type of ribosome. And our mitochondria can make those itself. Okay, so we have our ribosomes all through the cell and the mitochondria, but we aren't going to learn very much from little dots all over the screen. So let's zoom in to a individual ribosome here. And we can see that large and small subunit. So we'll write that down. Small and large subunits. And we'll point that out here quickly on the diagram as well. So we have this large subunit here and we have these small subunit at the bottom and they are both going to have completely different roles. And we haven't really actually talked about that role yet apart from where I wrote down a two subunit protein factory. But what does protein factory mean? And I'll just write there that it's a globular protein as well. So a small subunit, it's going to have a role in reading RNA. Now RNA being the uh, strand of genetic material that's going to carry the code for the proteins that we need to make in our cell during translation. And the RNA is going to be composed of a long chain of nucleotides. Now the large subunit of the ribosome complex is going to be joining amino acids to a growing uh, polypeptide chain and it does this by having access points for tRNAs and these tRNAs or transfer RNAs are going to be carrying amino acids and they will come along to the access points within the large subunit of your ribosome and each tRNA will recognize a different code that the RNA strand associated with your small ribosomal subunit is presenting. And if it's carrying an amino acid that corresponds to that code, it will attach it to a growing polypeptide chain. And we can see that chain extending out into a protein. And that's the process we call translation. And this is why we call the ribosomes the protein factories of our cell. And the ribosome itself, apart from the small and large subunit, is also going to contain some of its own RNA, which we call rRNA or ribosomal RNA. And the whole structure itself, the RNA, the small and large subunits, we refer to as the translational apparatus. So if you hear the term translational apparatus, just think, oh, I know that, that's just a ribosome. Okay, we know the structure of our ribosomes now, and we know the purpose of it, what it's doing. But the last thing I want you to know is they're not all in the same spot. And you can see I've just uh, drawn this weird looking 
squiggly line or tubule type system up here which is called our rough endoplasmic reticulum and the reason I've drawn that is because some of our ribosomes are membrane bound and the reason we call our uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum rough is because it's studded with ribosomes all over it and other ribosomes are going to just be freely floating around our cell so you can see them up here and uh, down just a bit lower I've got ribosomes kind of floating all over the place so the location that they're at will determine what type of proteins they're going to be making whether they are uh, in the membrane of your mitochondrion or on the rough endoplasmic reticulum or just floating around in the cytoplasm. Now we know all of the basics about our ribosomes, what they're doing and where we're going to find them within the cell. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.